Ladies and gentlemen, you are in the presence of Julian Clary. Thank you. Well, welcome and good evening. I'm Julian Clary and uh, I've already got stamen stains up my sleeve. <laughs> I blame you for that. You've got a wet wipe. You surprise me. <laughs> you, you're supposed to be couples, are you? You're supposed to be, supposed to be a couple. We're supposed yeah. to believe that, are we? I have to slip that where the sun don't shine. And can I <laughs> stand up? Can I rearrange you? You go over there. <laughs> you join him, and you come over here. <laughs> That's her. Right, you can get off now. Um, just don't go too far though, in case I need you. Who knows? <laughs> well. Welcome into my presence for what is, I think, going to be a typical showbiz star-studded evening. I'm going to swan around and various stars of stage and screen and, uh, in some cases, radio. Uh, <laughs> will laugh hysterically whenever the camera's on them. And I asked for the cream of Britain's show business industry and <laughs> let's see what we've got, because, you know... <laughs> Some of you are creamier than others, aren't they? <laughs> Hello, I'm Barbara Windsor. Hello, Julian. You're having another night out. <laughs> you haven't got your son Grant with you. Uh, no, no, I haven't. Well, actually. I'm glad because he's been a bit, a bit violent lately with his wife, and I wouldn't want him raising his hand to me. Yes, you would. <laughs> <laughs> get the wrong idea. <laughs> and darling June Whitfield, hello. hello. <laughs> I think of you as one of the family, June. Of course, dear, yes. That's why I never phone you. <laughs> um, this must be the sporty section. Hello, footballing person, Stan Connie... Col what is it? <laughs> Collymore. So I had trouble getting my tongue round that. <laughs> There's a joke in every line. <laughs> and you're, you're a dean, aren't you? Oh, you're wearing diamonds. Let's have a look at that. Oh. <laughs> Who have you come with, Dean? I've come with Samantha. Samantha, hello. I'll cross you off my list, then. Thank you. <laughs> Do that little laugh again. <laughs> <laughs> Samantha, you're very welcome. And uh, whereabouts in Essex is your mock Tudor home? <laughs> We're up north now. We're not in Essex anymore. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. No, that's a shame. It's You've got a gravel driveway. We have. <laughs> I can picture the scene. <laughs> Nick Faldo. No one's shaved on this table. Why didn't you <laughs> get your dick out? Up, up a little early. I see. Have you had a hole in one lately? Uh, just a little while ago, yes. <laughs> Happy days. <laughs> I had one last week, and the funny thing was, Nick, it was while I was on a golf course. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you lot? Low stop in the Elmworth Rugby Club. Well, hardly celebrities. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, you're very welcome. Can I take this, this jumper for you? Hang, hang it up somewhere. House of Fraser. Well, <laughs> you can't go wrong, can you? <laughs> I'll take that for you. June, do you want me to, um, oh, yes, dear. to look no, after that? Because you can't be too can't. careful. No, you can't. The That's public, right. you see. <laughs> the public over there, they tend to crawl along the floor. <laughs> and rifle through things. You haven't got a coat, dear? You all right? Ah, now, you're, um, <laughs> you're someone from the clothes show, don't tell me, Tim? Vincent. Tim Vincent. Very nice to meet you. Hello. <laughs> do you dye your eyelashes? <laughs> <clears throat> Just a stab in the once dark. Once a year, once a year. Once a year. Well, hold those for okay, me, would you? <laughs> Any clothes? Always a piece one. Shall I take, um, oh, yes. take your helmet? Please do. <laughs> Come and help me. Um, you do you know, Tim, I've always had a soft spot for your Blue Peter. 
Oh, hang that up there. Just hang those up okay. there for me. I'm going to be back to speak to this policeman. It's Geoffrey Gilbert. You were voted Britain's prettiest policeman, weren't you? <laughs> and uh, has it changed your life? Oh, it's been great fun. Loads of attention. Um, what's that on the table there? Well, I thought I'd bring you a little something. Hand Perhaps it to me then, Geoffrey. <laughs> I'm not speaking too quickly for you, am I? No, no, no. Do you understand all my jokes? Mm. Oh, Geoffrey. <laughs> <laughs> you shouldn't have. Well, I'll treasure those. I'll leave them there for now. And, uh, oh, now there's been a mistake. <laughs> have you got um, a hanky or something? Look, she spilled orange juice all over. Stand up, dear. It's all over your man-made fibre. <laughs> well, we can't sit on there. It's all over the chair. Is it a cry for attention? <laughs> Look what's happened. <laughs> Never mind. Perch on Jeffrey's knee for now. How embarrassing for you. <laughs> Shame. <laughs> You're probably wondering why I asked you all to come here this evening. Um, the truth is, I've got a new image, and uh, the merest mention of even bending over backwards, and after the show, I get bundled into the back of a van and taken off for electric shock treatment, <laughs> which is what happened to Katie Boyle. <laughs> they had to do something. Let's face it, that woman was a loose cannon. <laughs> Um, so what I thought I'd do, I, it's going to be more like a kind of encounter group and I, I really want to open myself up to you all, uh, particularly you, Philip. <laughs> <laughs> um, because I don't know about you, but I've been aware for some considerable time of a void.